Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi there, I'm your host, Casey Murray Hertz, and today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about a little ab curl creative cueing. So first and foremost, happy Valentine's Day from us at Fusion. And in the heart of Valentine's Day, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a cue that's gonna to help to open up the thoracic spine, get lots of space between your shoulder blades so that when you go into flexion and ab curl, your ribs have somewhere to go. So this is what I call cross your heart to do an ab curl here. So when most people go into ab curl, they lay down on their back, Many times we'll cue our clients to hold on to the back of the head and neck and go into an ab curl. The problem with this is many people open their elbows too wide so their shoulder blades close their thoracic spine and squeeze into their mid back. Mm, not a very good place to find really good flexion for the spine, it's a reverse bone rhythm. So when they go up into an ab curl from this position, what happens is a lot of times the chin juts up and forward, the eyes look at the ceiling, and instead of getting proper movement through their rib cage, they're pulling forward with their neck, they shorten the cervical spine, which really needs to elongate and lengthen, and they fight themselves because their shoulders are trying to pull them back down as their head tries to pull them back up. Mm, not a good situation for an ab curl for any sort of functional abdominal strength, and also it really does stress out people's necks. So what we're gonna do is experiment with a little bit of cross the heart arms. So you're gonna take your arms across the body and you can hold on to the shoulders here. What this does is it spreads the shoulder blades wide and to the side. So then from here, when you cue into an ab curl, the shoulders can't pull down and back. Instead, they really reach forward so that you can expose your mid back into the floor to really get the proper bone rhythms in the shoulder girdle to facilitate forward flexion. Some people might have a hard time with this because of their head and neck. You can also have them cue the back of their head as they go forward so that they can have that nice support system. You can also take something like a scarf or a towel and place it behind their head. They can still cross their arms and pull up into their ab curl. So either way, it really helps um, whether you do it just here or with that nice head support to find that open flexion that you need so desperately for your ab curl. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.